Well, you mentioned uh, Fallen Order a couple times. Let's talk about that. I know you picked it up. I did. Um, dude, I am so fucking excited to play this game. Yeah. Uh, you told me about it. I knew about it since launch. I paid uh, small attention to it when it did come out. Saw some gameplay and some trailers. It did look good. But since I kind of fell out of love with Star Wars, I never really paid that much attention to it to consider buying it. Mm -hmm. um, but ever since you mentioned it, I decided to look into it again and um, got it on a fantastic sale. Yeah, you did. Lowest it's ever been. And um, very excited. Very excited to play it. I mean, this gameplay just looks it's stunning. It looks like Sekiro um, mixed with Dark Souls, mixed with Star Wars uh, Shadows of the Empire. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite the concoction for me. That is a pretty accurate statement. Um, you know, it came out for Game Pass uh, when the Series X launched, and it had been a game that I was paying a lot of attention a lot of attention to when it originally came out. But I was kind of waiting for a sale. I just didn't want to pay fifty dollars for it or sixty dollars for it. Um, I had heard there were quite a few bugs and there were some uh, issues with it. Oh, he's lowering, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I am lowering. He's lowering down. Um, yeah. So, you know, I was kind of aware of some of the issues that the game had, and I decided to hold off on it until uh, the, the price was right. And then it went on sale a bunch, but it just kind of fell off my radar because I was playing other things like, you know, Doom Eternal and, and Last of Us, Last of Us 2. Um, I was just paying more attention to other games at the time. So I kind of almost forgot about it, kept it in the back of my mind, and then when it came out on Game Pass, I'm like, I'm playing that as soon as possible. And my experience with it has been absolutely wonderful so far. Uh, it is a challenging game. Um, <laughs> is that Mars or Atlas? This is Atlas. Hey, buddy. There he is. Aww. <laughs> he looks he looks so unamused right now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, this light is bright. and Put me down. And then we've got Mars. Uh, the two of them. This Dude, is... they always hit things that I don't even know how to do. Like, they pulled up some spotlight search. I have no idea how to even do that. I've had this computer since 2011. <laughs> they figure it out with just one uh, death jump. It's, it's Cats are great, dude. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I got my door closed today, so they're not going to be making any guest appearances, thankfully. But, um, yeah, so... What I like about this game so far is the quality of the story and the graphics. Um, I think there's a lot of attention to detail uh, with the writing, with the casting of the voice actors, with the motion capture of their faces, and uh, just the quality of the animation overall. Um, it reminds me of games like KOTOR, not in style, but in substance, if that makes okay. sense. Um, it is not an RPG like KOTOR uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, although there are skill trees that you can invest uh, ability points into and, uh, you know, helps your character grow and gain more powers and become more powerful. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it is that fine line of uh, Star Wars meets Dark Souls, Sekiro, those types of games. And I think it's at a difficulty level that's more manageable for somebody like me who does not have a ton of experience with those types of games. He is just all over you right now. Relentless, dude. <laughs> Relentless. Sometimes it takes like 18 desk drops for him to stop coming up here. Um, and you just got to get a box for him to lay in or something, put it up on the desk next to you. 